Hi, my name is Karina Jones, and today I'm going to be discussing the nonverbal signs of love. Nonverbal communication forms a social language that, in many ways, richer and more fundamental in our words. By Leonard Mulodinow. At least one once in a person's life has experienced nonverbal signs of love, whether it's romantical or through friends and family. And here I have a list of the um, how to speak your partner's love languages. First, I have physical touch. Non physical touch is a nonverbal use of love language and touch to express love, such as hugs, kisses, and cuddles. Physical touch releases serotonin and oxytocin, giving a sense of euphoria when given. The next is receiving gifts. When provided, uh, we, we provide gifts through uh, showing our lo love and thoughts together. It shows thoughtfulness. This makes our partner or other loved ones a sense of overwhelming love and appreciation because of the effort you have put together um, to, to provide for them. Next is quality time. When you're giving your loved ones uninterrupted and focused quality time together, it creates a special moment through bonding and connecting, such as date nights, walks together, and even uh, trips on vacation. Next is acts of service. This is one of the most sought out acts of nonverbal love. Acts of service is wanting your partner or loved one to know how much you appreciate them and want to help lighten their load. They may be overwhelmed with work, balancing life, home, or even going through a rough patch and need help with basic chores such as laundry or preparing dinner. Helping them make their life just a little bit easier and showing them that you're thinking about them shows each other how much you love each other even without each saying a word. Knowing how to communicate non-verbally uh, creates strength and relationship and even helps establish a beautiful connection for those who practice, pursue, and love one another. To some, love may be easy, but others have to work at it. You have to, by following these love languages, helps create a foundation um, and something to carry out through the rest of your life. Love can be a wonderful thing to experience. Knowing how to communicate to one of the highest advice areas to focus on in any relationship. Communication, if done by my uh, audience analysis and the, the age group and even my public, um, my public uh, questionnaire, I asked, what do you think would be the best advice to provide to any young couple or some couple struggling in a relationship, trying to communicate, or they grew up not knowing the right way to communicate. Every single one of them, including my parents, have said communication is the key. Knowing how to talk to each other and learning and living with each other and expressing exactly, you know, how they feel and learning particularly to that person really helps create a strong foundation. So by listening uh, through physical or providing physical touch, um, hugs and kisses, receiving gifts, giving thoughtful gifts and gestures, uh, providing quality time, creates special moments um, and acts of service, um, go out of your way to help with chores. And um, as an added bonus, I'm discussing the words of affirmations. That's our, um, our bonus one for speaking your love language. Encourage affirmations and appreciate and listen actively. Send an unexpected note or letter or card. That's especially important if you're long distance, it's even more difficult to communicate. And um, knowing from personal experience, it's very important to communicate when you can, um, providing time for each other, letters, small gifts, and being 100% honest and expressing exactly how you feel creates a really strong um, foundation for any relationship. It's important to work hard, 
listen, and express love in a variety of ways you both feel comfortable. Thank you.